A violent start to the day. A young woman is dead. Thanks for joining us this noon. I'm Nicole Versansky. Three others were hurt. They're in the hospital fighting for their lives. The shooter still out there. Noelle Williams spoke to witnesses who say they heard it all. This crime scene tape, a painful reminder of the senseless violence taking over the streets of Cleveland. The latest incident overnight here on East 123rd Street near St. Clair. Four people shot in a drive-by. Cleveland EMS tells 19 News they were rushed to university hospitals in critical condition. Sadly, a 31-year-old woman didn't make it. All they say, uh, she been shot. She been shot. I didn't know it was a girl. And then she said, my chest hurt. And everybody was on the phone calling 911. Mamie Bellaney lives next door to where it all happened. She knows some of the victims, and she tells me what started as a night of fun was interrupted with gunshots. I knew something was going to happen last night because they start uh, having the firecrackers early. And I said, Am I, I know I'm old, but I'm so sad, and I hope the guy make it. As police scour the city searching for whoever pulled the trigger, people who live in this Forest Hills neighborhood, fearful the violence in Cleveland streets, is starting to spin out of control. Oh, yes, it's a uh, terrible loss. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's just getting worse in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Does that make you worry for the summer at all? Uh, oh, yes, because it ain't even warmed up yet. As a family now mourns the loss of a young woman, three other families praying their loved ones will pull through. Cleveland police hoping someone will come forward with information to put a killer behind bars. In Cleveland's Forest Hills neighborhood, Noel Williams, 19 News.